welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new here hi my name is irene and if you are returning hello lover hello baby hello boo so today i'm doing a beginner makeup tutorial i hope this beginner level it is beginner level and i know i'm two days late to vlogmas but it's fine we keep going we keep going we keep picking up we keep going um i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you do please don't forget to subscribe subscribe right now thank you um yeah enjoy wait also before you guys go into this video it's a voiceover video while i was filming it and doing my makeup it started raining bad and the sound was off so i decided and opted for a voiceover i hope you guys enjoy the voiceover i don't know if you enjoy the voiceover but yeah enjoy okay so <laughs> i start with my rose glow revlon primer this primer is a holy grail trust me if you want your skin to like feel soft and you want to like it's also kind of like a skincare but it's so good like if you want your skin to feel soft try this primer out this is i've tried this i tried this once and i never went back so i just go in with that and i rub it in my face child. <laughs> and then i go in with my maybelline poor baby skin eraser i don't know how i feel about this primer honestly because i i really don't know how i feel about it it is it literally erases your pores but i don't have oily skin so it kind of like dries out my skin so i put it in the places where i usually get like oils you know at the end of the night when your makeup is like oily that's the places i place this uh primer but yeah i just go in with that and i rub it in after I go in with the sorry about that <laughs> i go in with the orange color corrector and i place it wherever i have spots and dark marks this literally covers pigmentation it covers everything like the step please don't miss it like put it where you feel like you have pigmentation and look at your makeup transform Okay, so when it comes to blending this out <laughs> oh my god i'm literally filming this part again by mistake but please don't like hit on your face too hard like just lightly dab it like you don't need to blend it out a lot because you need the coverage so you don't want to be like picking up any product so just like lightly 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 dab it <laughs> Revlon Candid powder and I put that on just to make it stay you don't want that color corrector to move child like you you just set it and set it and like after setting it with the powder you spray again I think that's what I did <laughs> with the uh, setting spray <laughs> Thank you. 
then this part with the concealer i don't think it's really necessary but it's necessary for me because it helps me not to apply foundation on my under eyes because that's gonna make it cakey so this part just makes me avoid helps me avoid putting foundation on that part so putting on concealer first really helps so i'd really advise you to do that if you feel like you're gonna put your foundation under your like directly under you your eyes why can't i talk directly under your eyes because that's gonna make it cakey also one thing you guys should learn is blending is literally your best friend you need to blend okay i know i said with the color corrector you don't really need to blend because you need the coverage but when it comes to concealer and all of that you need to blend like blend like make sure that there aren't any harsh lines you see like i literally like blending my concealer my under eye concealer by the perimeter <laughs> i don't know if that's okay I, I don't know if i should use the word but like you see what i'm doing man like there down there by the perimeter not inside okay i just did but you get the point you get the point man so just blend blend and blend <laughs> after blending with the brush i go in with a damp beauty blender just so like those little strokes those little dots i don't know the brush leaves these little weird dots i just want to smooth it out so i smooth it out with my beauty blender my damp beauty blender and then i go in with my fit me foundation okay so here listen 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 to me carefully open your ears um it looks a little bit yellow <laughs> okay i'm so sorry i'm literally filming this voiceover at 1am and these are my crazy hours i said the concealer is gonna prevent me from putting foundation directly under my eyes but like i kind of almost almost went there i don't know if i did that was supposed to help but that's what I struggle with. Anyways, it looks a little bit yellow because it's gonna oxidize into my skin. It's gonna look better. Trust the process. It's gonna look good. So what you wanna do is I just spread it out with my makeup brush and then I'm gonna go in with a beauty blender again to make sure that it is blended properly. Remember, blending is your best friend. And yes, the concealer did help me because can you see that I didn't put it like directly, directly under my eyes? maybe i'm gonna do that when i blend with the beauty blender but still did you see that okay cool thanks bye <laughs> guys want to make up to last you see how i apply this setting spray almost like after every step do that because it's gonna set every layer of your makeup and 
it's gonna last so i just spray it and then i dab it in again with my beauty blender so i go in with this foundation that i used to use for the whole of my face like i used to use that rimmel shade this shade everywhere and it's a perfect match for me i like my foundation a little bit darker but since i have that fit me which is a little bit lighter i just go in to warm my face up with that rimmel um foundation which is finished i literally had to like scrape it off but i just warm my face up with that it helps <laughs> then i go in with my concealer again to brighten up my under eyes so this one i'm gonna let it dry like i'm gonna apply it and then i'm gonna wait a bit and do my eyeshadow and everything to let it dry so that i can get that coverage and get that like bright under eye look effect without putting another lighter concealer because i don't have another i mean Oh, i can't talk another lighter shade so if you want that bright and eye without having to apply like two concealers just sit and let it dry because it's gonna have coverage then i go in with eyeshadow i go in with a deep brown all over you all over all over all over i'm so i'm laughing at this because my face is so serious in the video and this voice over is so funny i think i'm funny my friends don't think i'm funny but i know i'm funny so <laughs> i go into that brown shade all over my lid and then i just blend out the edges okay i blend out the edges to make it a little bit crisp i'm lying i don't know but i just blend it out so blend blend that out um after the brown shade i'm gonna go in with a black shade so the black shade is just to add a little bit depth it's gonna make it a little bit smoky and add a little bit personality a little bit of personality to my eyes okay so just also i'm putting that on the outer corners of my eyes so just focus it on the outer corners of my eyes i mean of your eyes if you're doing this look just don't go inside with the black so yeah repeat on both sides like and then after i'm done with that and my concealer has set i blend yo i'm running out of breath but i'm luna can't tell it's a young dude okay yo then i'm gonna blend out the concealer once it's a little bit dry so that i still have that bright effect and remember blending is your best friend so you're gonna spend so much time on blending just be patient and blend okay before blending out the concealer under my eyes i'm gonna put this color character again this is a multifunctional color character i'm gonna put it on as blush to also like bronze up or like add a little bit of warmth to my face because i like the orangey look and then i'm gonna blend it out before i blend out my concealer because it's gonna look a little bit harsh but that concealer is gonna cover it up a little um if you want to like have a little bit orange because i feel like i have warm undertones so this orange really just i just it just does something you know it helps <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
okay after all that blending immediately after blending please set your under eyes because you don't want to give them a chance to crease okay so you blend and then you set i baked my under eyes i baked them i yeah i baked them so i love this step so much i love it because it just i don't know it it just does something to your makeup just make sure you set your face so that it lasts so that's what i'm doing right now putting on this um la pro girl can color what yeah the powder on the places where i put my highlights i mean my concealer and then i'm gonna go with it in with this contour palette from scarlet hill it's finished i know look at my face it's gone but i'm gonna fight with it and then i just contour my face under my cheekbones um i'm running out of breath guys i don't know what's happening but that's what i'm gonna do like this is very self-explanatory but i like blending it up what does it look like i'm doing it upwards i don't know but i know people say that <laughs> anyways yeah just put it on where you have to like where i'm putting it on there's so much powder that goes into this so you, i take a powder that's a little bit darker the black opal black opal black opal powder it's a little bit darker than the one i used to set my under eyes and my highlighted areas it's just like cut my jawline to to make me look snatched then i go in with blush this is essence as you can see it's been through a lot but that's my essence blush i don't know the color it's just it's my essence blush black blush and i just put it on and then here is a very crucial step you guys listen to me and listen to me very carefully when you um wipe the powder off your face like when you brush it off make sure you brush it all off make sure it's all off like spend time brushing it off because the powder is what causes flashback <clears throat> sorry i can't breathe the powder i mean the powder causes flashback and you don't want to have flashback and look like a powdered donut in pictures at night so let the powder go like brush it off completely okay thanks and then i go in with my eyeshadow palette okay i didn't show you that but my eyeshadow palette the brown that i used for my eyelids i contour and i contour my nose with it because i just like a little snatched nose and then i go in again with my setting spray i, I drench my face in that i went okay, and I'm put on Thanks. my lashes and did my lips off camera because uh, honestly my lashes i'm also a beginner when it comes to lashes i haven't put on lashes in such a long time but i am done and i hope you guys enjoyed this video wait I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and please do not forget to subscribe leave a comment down below and tell me if this was helpful if you'd like to see another tutorial maybe on my brows or the lips anything that you guys want you can let me know all right all right okay i'll see you guys in my next video bye